Today we're going to be looking again at the Pico Calc. The Pico Calc is designed to use very little power, as it is run with a Raspberry Pi Pico at its core. This device can be run by either one or two 18650 rechargeable batteries. Power consumption of the device varies depending on how bright you have the display and what the computer is actually doing. And this can range from 0.4 of a watt up to a maximum of 1.3 or 1.4 watts. So in this video we're going to cover the absolute basics of the power of our PicoCalc. The on-off button is concealed at the top right hand corner of the unit. There is a small depressed button which when pushed in will power the unit on. And that is the unit now powered on. Holding down this button once more will power the unit off. As you can see it boots straight into MM Basic. You can adjust the brightness of the keyboard backlight by holding down the ALT button and clicking on the spacebar. The brightness of the display can be adjusted by holding down the alternate button and pressing either the left or the right buttons here. The greater than or less than. This will increase or decrease the screen brightness. To determine how much battery you have left, you can hold down the alternate button and press the B button. If we do that now, you'll see there's a small LED up here which if it flashes three times, that tells you you have fully charged batteries. If you have less charge in your battery, it will either flash twice, or if it flashes a single time, it's time to recharge your batteries. If we turn the unit over, we can see on the back a steady flashing light, which indicates that the PicoCalc is powered up. If we have a look at the top of the unit, we will see that there are two USB connectors. The USB connector at the top here is a USB-C type connector. This can be used to recharge your batteries. If we power the unit off, we'll see the display disappears and the PicoCalc light is no longer showing. And we can then open up the battery pack. This is where your two batteries can go. At the moment I have two 3300 milliamp hour batteries installed in this unit. You do not need of course to have two batteries to run the unit. One will do it quite nicely. However having two batteries does give you a longer run time. And as the PicoCalc uses very little power, you will have a considerable length of time to run this computer without having to recharge. The manufacturers recommend that if you wish to remove these batteries, you do so when the unit is actually switched off. While in theory you can remove one battery, and the remaining battery will continue to run the system, it's not recommended as your system may become unstable as you pull the battery out. You can of course go with one of the standalone intelligent USB chargers, like this one, or your batteries. I purchased my batteries with a charger as a bundled deal. So if we close back up the battery pack, and we have a look at the rest of the machine. As I said, on the top of the machine you have your power button, you have your USB charging, port and there's another port here which is an audio port. It's not a power port so don't plug power connector into there. This is for your headphones. And should you wish to turn the volume up on your speakers there is a rotary dial to allow you to do that at the side and just to the right of that you have a full set of GPIO pins. So all in all, this computer is a very power efficient machine. And you should get a considerable run time on the batteries. What we'll cover in the next set of videos is the different aspects of the machine itself. We will look at MM Basic, what you can do with a computer, 
and how you can extend it. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.